Good evening. No, good afternoon. <laughs> good afternoon, girls. Good afternoon, teacher. Good afternoon, Beatriz. Good afternoon, Carla. How are you? Yes, see? Mm. Okay. Good Let's... afternoon. Good afternoon, Anita. How are you? Very well. How are you? <laughs> you look very good. Excellent. Okay. Let's see, guys. Welcome back to your English class. It's a pleasure to see you right in class. I'm so happy for today's class. Actually, we're going to have pretty good content. And without further ado, let's get started. Let's see. Let me share with you the baby. There you have it, right? So today, let's pray to God that we finish section three, right? And also, maybe if we have the time, we're going to start with the midterm exam. But so far, how are you doing? How are you doing with the platform? Come on, con la plataforma, la sección tres. See? Good. So, so. so, so. <laughs> like in the middle, como en medio ahorita, right? Okay. Yes. Very good. Excellent. Let me see. Solo déjenme contestar este mensaje. Okay. It's okay. Okay, girls. So let's get started. We have class number seven. Look at you. We are just about to finish almost the course, right? We are missing like um seven or eight more classes and then you're gone <laughs> let's see let's see what do we have do you remember let's see we have four questions number one mention at least three places for example the bank what other places do we have let me see let me ask vanessa Lima. good afternoon vanessa Good afternoon, teacher. How are you? Fine, thank you. Are you? I'm pretty good. Thank you so much for asking. All right, Vanessa. Tell me three places that you remember. Tres lugares de los que usted se acuerda que aprendimos. Um, aprendimos post office. Uh -huh, post office. Uh, coffee's, coffee's shop. Okay, coffee shop. A bookstore. Mm -hmm. Supermarket, okay. restroom. Excellent. Very good, Valencita. Excellent. Good that you remember. Let's go with number two. What are nouns? Let's see. Let me have Maria Siwenza. Maria, what are nouns? ¿Qué son los nouns, Maria? A noun is a person, place, or thing. Exactly. That's correct. Very really good. Very good. All right. And what are compound nouns? Let's see, Anita. Let's see if you remember what are compound nouns. Puede leer de sus notas. No problem. Eso no lo noté, pero es la unión, ¿verdad? También de... Exactly. De uh -huh. Cuando tenemos dos nouns y los juntamos, those are compound nouns. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Let's see who else do we have. Na, na, na. Let me see. Fatima Enriquez. Let's see, Fatima. Mention the prepositions of place, please. I don't remember, teacher. You don't remember prepositions of place. Okay. Don't worry, Fatima. Today we're going to, to have a review about it. What about you, Emperatriz? Can you tell me the prepositions okay. of place? On the corner of, across from, next to, between, in front of, on behind. Okay, very good, excellent. You got one more, excellent. Very good. All right, girls, let's check this out, all right? Esto solo es para ver si nos acordamos o si podemos agregar un poquito más, pero siempre vamos a ver un review porque yo sé que venimos del fin de semana, right? <laughs> In the fin de semana, weekends off. Literal, la palabra weekends off. 
Así que no se preocupen. Vamos a hacer un review pequeñito de lo último que vimos ya. Let's see. We have prepositions of place. All right. So, si no se pudieron conectar el, el viernes, el jueves, no se preocupen. Ahorita vamos a ver esto de prepositions of time, of place. Let's see. We have on. That's the first one. On the corner of. That's the second one. Across from. Next to. And between. Between. All right. Estoy dando la pronunciation de nuevo. Aquí vamos. On. On the on, corner of. On the corner of. Across from. Across from. Next to. Next to. Between. Between. All right. Excellent. Thank you for my little helpers over there. Excellent. Really good. All right, girls. Let's check this out. ¿Qué queremos hacer con eso? El... Thursday, on Thursday, we were practicing with prepositions of time. You remember you were asking and answering, asking and answering, but you didn't have the time to create sentences. Si bien estuvimos eh, practicando con preguntar y responder, preguntar y responder, no tuvimos el tiempo de crear sentences, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, a veces sin que la persona nos pregunte, nosotros podemos dar direcciones. Entonces, eso es lo que vamos a ver ahorita, all right? Let me check. This is the map, ¿ok? Ahorita vamos a dar un vistazo al map y ya lo voy a poner de regreso. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Practice time. Let me see. Eh, Gloria Mena, can you please read the instructions? Eh, word individual. Create or less three sentences. Using preposition or time. Share your sentence with the class. Exactly. Thank you. Right? So, to create your sentences, you just have to look at the map. Okay? Para crear nuestras sentences, solo le vamos a echar un vistazo al map. Let me see. Let me share this. Okay? And, for example, le voy a dar aquí un ejemplo. Uh, where is the U.S. Post Office? Okay. The U.S. Ya le voy a dar color a la letra, ok? Don't worry. Post office is on the corner of, let me see, it's on the corner of Center Street, right? Of Center Street. Right? There you have it. Esto es lo que van a hacer ustedes. Van a buscar los lugares que ustedes quieran poner. Right? Y lo que necesito es que ustedes practiquen en poner esas directions. Ok. Something similar. Ya les voy a poner el, el mapa. All right. I'm going to. Put the map in here, but I just want you to look at the example, okay? The U.S. Post Office is on the corner of Center Street. Ustedes van a hacer sus sentences dependiendo de cómo ustedes vean localizado los places in the map, okay? Voy a tomar el example de aquí para ponérselos en el map. The example over in here, okay? Let's work on this, please. You can choose any place that you want. If you want to talk about a post office or the hospital or department store or dance drug store or Mary's restaurant, you got the city bank, we have different places, okay?
if you have questions, you can ask me, all right? I'm here to help you. Miss, who is the name the two store? What's the name of? Shoe store. Shoes. Only shoes and then, uh -huh. what is the name? Ay, 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 dice, ah, good question. <laughs> dice, palm right, creo que dice palm right, shoes. No, pero no se cansa ver, lady. No, okay, only, the, only the okay, only the two stores uh -huh. is on the second avenue. Yeah, basically that's the mm, no. We also have dance store and supermarket in the second avenue. Oh, and then and then it's we only have, it's all second store. Second Avenue. <clears throat> Aquí. Second Avenue. Yes. Yeah, we have okay. all these. Todas estas pertenecen a la Second Avenue. Okay. Bookstore. Uh -huh. store. Exactly. Okay. Drug store, supermarket. Aquí en la Second Avenue, we have like four. And also, we have these ones, lady. The movie theater, it's like in here too. Maria's yeah. restaurant and the U.S. Post Office. También esta, bueno, esta de U.S. Post Office ya no entra ahí en la Second Avenue, pero esta de Mary's restaurant and movie theater sí entra en la Second Avenue. Okay. How many sentences? Only three. Okay. Very good. Teacher, ¿cómo se pronuncia Regency? Regency? Movie Theater? Theater? 
It says Rain Rainsy Movie Theater. Theater. Okay. Theater. Yeah. Let me see, creo que aquí hay otra, el Park Street. También es, tenemos la Park Street, everybody. And we have Main Street. And movie theater, if you pay attention to this, movie theater, it could belong to Park Street and also Second Avenue. El movie theater le puede pertenecer tanto a Park Street and Second Avenue. Depende de cualquiera de las dos calles que quieran agarrar, estaría bien. Pero se puede mencionar las dos. Porque se puede decir que está entre y entre. Exactly. Yes, lady. That's correct. Así se puede ponerlo. It's between Second Avenue and Park Street. Okay. Okay. Eh, teacher, en ese caso, between, entre los dos, entre la avenida y, y el Park Street. Exactly. Entonces, se puede utilizar el between con el, ese shoe store con el, eh, no sé, el parque. No sé si tendrá un nombre ahí. Yes. El park. Solo diga park porque no tiene The nombre. Park. No se le ve. Ajá. Uh -huh. The park, también se puede, con between. Sí, también puede, porque okay. tenemos Main Street y Park Street. Ok. Con esas dos sí se puede. Ya First Avenue no la tomaríamos en cuenta. Solo podemos tomar en cuenta Main Street y Park Street. Sí, vamos a utilizar el park. Finish. Excellent. Very good. Let me see, lady. You finished. Excellent. Okay. The, um, who, um, listen, and the Maria restaurant is between Second Avenue and Main Street. That is correct? Yes, it's between Second Avenue and Main Street. Yes, sí, porque está adelante. Pertenece en Main Street. Porque ya Center Street está atrás. Uh -huh. It's correct. Second Avenue, Avenue and Main Street. Okay, the next is the, the two store is on the second avenue. Avenue or Avenue? Avenue. Avenue. Uh -huh. Let me see. The shoe, the shoe store. store is on the second avenue. Mm -hmm. right. Okay. And okay. next, the, the city bank is on the main street. The city bank, let me check the city bank. It's over here. Uh -huh, it's on the main street. Excellent. Hey, lady, your sentences are correct. So, sentences are bien. ¿Qué tal si en esta de shoes para hacerla eh, uh -huh. como más explicativa? Porque si me dice está on Second Avenue, yo entiendo, right? Pero puede ponerle eh, Main Street, the same. No, eso le quería decir como que lo, localice otra, otro lugar que esté a la par o enfrente. In front. Ajá, like in front of. Okay, and the shoe store is on the Second Avenue and in front, uh -huh. supermarket, PG supermarket. PJ, exactly, uh -huh. PJ uh, supermarket. Although, vamos a ver, vamos a chequear esto, lady. Although, supermarket está behind. Entonces, mm -hmm. puede okay. decir in front, okay, aquí vamos. In front of the Regent movie theater. Ajá, uh -huh. o puede decir in front of the PJ supermarket. Porque si usted me dice eh, across from... In front, I say in front. Ah, in front, ah, okay. Yes, lady, that's correct. Ah, pues sí, ahí sí está bien. And then the correct sentence is, the shoe store is on the second avenue uh -huh. and in front PG supermarket. Exactly, that's correct, there you got it. And this one is okay. PJ, honey, PJ. PJ, okay, I'm sorry. Excellent. 
No, don't worry, no se preocupe. <laughs> Con la J, eh, we always have issues, siempre. Es como la A y la I y la E en inglés, right? So don't worry. Excellent. Thank you, lady. Very good. Was it difficult, lady? Lo sintió difícil. Um, so. So, so. <laughs> All right, excellent. Thank you. Let's go with Mary Sigüenza. Vi que tenía su manita ahí. Y después de Mary, Gloria Mena. Where is the movie theater? The movie theater on May 3rd on 42nd Avenue. Mm -hmm. uh, repeat again, please, because I couldn't hear you. Casi no se le escuchó, Mary. Where is the movie theater? Corner Second Avenue. Ah, where is the movie theater? The movie theater is on the corner of Second Avenue. Mm, mm, let's see, Mary. Yo creo que le aplicaría más. It's on the corner of Main Street. Porque mire, toda la Main Street pasa por aquí. Así que ahí le aplicaría más. Pienso yo, right? On Main Street, on the corner Second Avenue. Uh huh. Exactly. That's correct. Let's go with the next one. Uh, where is supermarket? Uh, supermarket is on Second Avenue, across from Mary Mary Restaurant. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Exactly. Across from the Mary's Restaurant. Yes, because you have to cross because se puede cruzar la Second Avenue. Para llegar al supermarket. Very wise. Muy sabio. Uh -huh. Where is Citibank? Citibank is between the Paramount store and Mary Restaurant. All right. Excellent. Very good. Thank you, Mary. That's correct. That's correct. Let's go. Yes. Let me see. Here we go. Regálenme un segundito antes de pasar con Gloria. This one, lady. Yes. Okay. Yes, thank, thank you. All right, excellent. There you go. Let's see. Let's go with Gloria Mena. Your turn. Tell me your sentence. Uh, the favorite shoes uh, across from a supermarket. Ah, uh -huh, excellent. A second, the city bar next to Mary's restaurant. Ah, uh -huh, excellent. A three, the gas station is on court of Fifth Avenue. First Avenue. Uh -huh, on First Avenue. Mm, yes, okay. it's on the corner of First Avenue. And on the corner of First Fifth Avenue. Avenue. Ajá, exactly. Sí, sí, sí. Gloria, Gloria, le agradezco porque mire usted si alcanzó a ver, Lady, aquí dice favorite shoes. Sí, todavía tengo buena la vista. Sí. No, ya no, ya voy a comer zanahoria, Diosito. All right, Vamos excellent. Comer zanahoria. Yes, thank you, girls. Very good. Ok, let's go with Natalia. Let's see, Natalia. Ok. Eh. Davis Drugstore is on the corner of Center Street and Second Avenue. Uh, Davis Drugstore is across from Second Avenue. Um, drugstore is next to PNG Supermarket. Yes, that's correct. Very good directions. Excellent. Let's go with, let me see. Any other girl who has finished? Alguien más que ya finalizó? Me, teacher. Okay, excellent. Tell me, Anita. Uh, the city bank is on behind, behind of the movie theater. Uh-huh, that's correct. Uh, the movie theater is on between um, 
the Marjorie shoes and part. Ah, no, the favorite shoes. The favorite, huh? <laughs> Thanks to Gloria. The favorite <laughs> shoes is in the part and part. Okay. Um, the David drugstore is on Second Avenue. All right. It's on Second Avenue. That's correct. Excellent. Very good. And listen, you know what? The wise thing of saying Second Avenue and First Avenue es que si nosotros en realidad estamos dando una dirección, right? Supongamos el caso de que les toque dar una direction. Y estos lugares están a simple vista. Ahí es donde solo podemos aplicar lo que algunas hemos hecho aquí. Eh, the David's Drugstore is on Second Avenue. Hasta ahí, right? Porque sabemos que es una avenida y pues ahí van a estar. No hay donde perderse. Entonces, we can do that. Excellent. Ready, good girls. Somebody else? Alguien más? Aprovechen ahorita, estamos en la discussion. <laughs> right? Yo, teacher. Excellent. Who's yo? <laughs> the city van is only between the farmer's store and Mary's restaurant. The farmer's store is on the, on the corner of Main, Main Street and across from the parking. Uh -huh, very good. The parking is on the across from the farmer store. All right, excellent, very really good. And you know what? You can say here the parking lot. También tenemos otras locaciones como las que acaba de mencionar Karen. Thank you, Karen. Este que sería el the parking lot. All right. Very good, Karen. Thank you. Let's go with somebody else. What about Emperatriz? I see that you have your microphone open. Okay, okay. The hospital is between the gas, gas station and US post office. Is uh, from the center street. Um, the Regency movie theater is from of the city bank. The love department store is on the corner of the First Avenue and Main Street, mm -hmm. or cross from the park. All right, excellent. Very good, those, very good. Solo que, um, déjeme ver, señorita, dígame la primera que dijo del hospital, please. The Let me hospital check. is between uh -huh. the gas, gas station. Mm -hmm and U.S. post office. All right, in this case, listen, it's not wrong saying between, it's okay, right? But also you can say um, the hospital is in Center Street. Si lo quiere hacer más fácil, no está mal como lo dice, está perfecto. Pero otra opción que tenemos okay. es uh, the hospital is on Center Street. Porque si usted se fija, solo pasan y pues voltean a ver a un lado y ahí está el hospital, right? Okay. That's another okay. way. Okay, thank you. You're welcome, Beatriz. Very good sentences, girls. Excellent. You've been practicing. Let's go with Vanessa Leiva. Let's see, Vanessa. Um, um, the department store is on the main street. Um, the hospital is next to post office. Uh-huh, yes, that's correct. Um, the city bank is between the, the department store and the medis restaurant. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Very good. Excellent. Thank you, Vani. Let's go with Farima Enriquez. Let's see, Farima. Yo solo una hice, Tich. Hey, let's check it. El de Maria's restaurant is of the... No, sorry. El department store is a main street. Mm -hmm. On the corner... Mm, of the store. What? 
para department store puede utilizar estas dos calles, First Avenue and Main Street. Okay. For example, you can say um, department store is between Main Street and First Avenue. Esa es una opción. Okay, una opción. Y la otra opción que usted puede decir, the department store is on the corner of First Avenue and Main Street. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. This is to help you just in case we're still not aware how to use these ones, right? Because I know it could be a little bit tough. Question, yes. Miss. Uh huh. Uh, in the sentence, the Regin movie theater across from the park or at the park? At the park street. Oh, no. solo the park. The park in, across the from mm. is the same. At the park or only across from no, the park? No, it's not the same. You have to say across from. Porque para ir del, del movie theater al park, tienen que cruzarse una callecita. Okay, but is that, the question is across from, is, is that good? I know. But at the next, the, na, no, the preposition mm -hmm. or noun at, is the park or at the park? Ah, got you, got you, the, the formula. You can yes. say the movie theater is across from only. You cannot, you don't need to use at. Okay, only the park. Uh-huh, it's across from uh -huh. the park. Excellent. The park. Okay, thank you. Very good. Yeah, in some, sometimes we're going to use an at, but most of the time you don't need it. Porque el at solo es cuando es localidad pura, que ahí va a quedar algo, no se mueve, right? Pero en este caso, no, no lo necesitamos, as you were mentioned. Just across okay. from the park. Okay, excellent, very good lady. Let me see, Jenny Romero. Jenny Romero, verdad. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. Hello. Hello. Are you there? <laughs> yes. You you say Jenny Romero? Yes. Yes, indeed. Jenny Romero, please. Okay. Citibank is um let me see. Citibank is in uh, is in the main street in front of the movie theater. Uh -huh. Hospital is in the center strip next to U.S. post office. Mm -hmm. Right, excellent. Jenny. Jenny, what do you think if we said that Citibank is behind the movie theater instead of across? We can say behind. Porque Citibank estaría detrás del movie yeah. theater. Okay. Although, sí, but, um... También le funciona across, ¿ok? Cross from, no hay problema. Pero también tiene la opción de decir behind. All right? Ok. Ok. Very good. All right, girls. Thanks. Excellent. Very good. Now, listen, I know it's hard, kind of hard, right? Because we have different points of view. And if you notice in the video, they always said, try to think where do you want to start? And that's how you can provide your own examples, right? Now, let's check the following. Hoy vamos a ver el video. Tenemos ya para terminar la última parte de la platform. Vamos a ver un video de cómo utilizar las siguientes frases, all right? Que también son para dar directions, okay? But so far, let's practice this conversation. Let's see. Let me have... Well, I'm going to read it first. Excuse me, man. Can you help me? How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Just walk up Fifth Avenue to Fifth Street. St. Patrick's is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yeah, it's right across from the Rockefeller Center. Thank you. 
And where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up, right? Now, we have learned the prepositions of time. La prepositions of place, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, prepositions of place. Ya las aprendimos. Pero ahora vamos a ver cómo dar directions, right? Let's wait for this. Let me go with with Carla Garcia, you are the tourist, and Natalia Guevara, you are woman. Action. Rita <sighs> Garcia, are you there? If not, let me go with Karen Martinez, please. You are the tourist. Okay. Eh, solamente la pronunciación después de excuse me. Man. Man. Man, uh -huh, exactly. Okay. Man es eh, para decir madam, que significa señorita, right? Esta es como la contraction, dicen man. Right? man. Okay. Ajá, así que si un día alguien les dice man, no, es, no significa hombre, significa eh, señorita o mujer o señora, right? Okay. Excuse me. Ma'am, can you help me? How do I get to a street Patrick's Cathedral? Just walk up Fifth Avenue to uh, Fifth Street. St. Patrick is on the right. It is near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire Star Building? It, is it far from here? It's right behind you. Behind you. Just turn around and look up. All right, excellent girls. Very good, thank you. Excellent. Now let's let me give you again the pronunciation of this one. Estos son lugares centrales que tienen ellos, right? In their country. Como nosotros aquí, El Salvador del Mundo, el edificio de tal compañía, right? Almost like that. Empire, Empire State Building. Empire State Building. I think they are in New York. Si no me equivoco, ellos están en Nueva York. So the Empire State Building is in Nueva York, right? So Empire State Building. Let's go with Anita. Anita, you are the tourist and Emperatriz, you are the woman. Action. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? How do I get to a street Patrick's Cathedral? Yes, well up Fifth Avenue to 50th Street. San Patrick mm -hmm. is on the right. Mm -hmm. it's, it is near Rockefeller Center? Mm -hmm. Yes, it's right across from the Rockefeller mm -hmm. Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Mm -hmm. Is it as far from here? It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. Excellent, very good. Thank you, girls. Excellent, right? So let's go with the next one. Lady Ventura, you are the tourist, and Isis Reyes, you are the woman. Action. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? How do I get to Trick Patrick's Cathedral? Yes. Just walk up Fifth Avenue to 50th Street, Street Patrick in on the right. It is near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? It is far from here? It's right behind you, just turn around and look up. 
All right, excellent, very good. It must be really difficult to be a tourist in another country, right? And I mean, you know the country, that's why you're asking, but it could be pretty hard for some people to be tourists in another country. Okay, let's go with Gloria Mena, you are tourist, and Maria Siwenza, you are woman. Action. Excuse me, ma'am, can you help me? How do you get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Cathedral? Patrick is on the right. Uh, is this near Rockefeller Center? Yes, right. I'm from uh, Thank you. Thank you. And where is the Imperial State Building? Is it far from here? It's right behind you. All right, excellent girls, very good, thank you. Excellent, let me go with somebody else. Let's have a Farima Enriquez, you are tourist, and Jenny Romero, you are woman, action. Excuse me, ma'am, can you help me? How do you, I get to St. Patrick Cathedral? Just just walk up Fight Avenue to 15th Street. What is the pronunciation teacher? St. Um, Patrick's. Sorry? St. Patrick's. No, but F and T. Ah, this one, 5th Avenue. No, and no, no. 5th no. or what? Uh, Patrick, sorry, uh, I, I will continue and when I finish, I will ask you. No, if you want, you can ask me now. Así le ayudo ahorita, diga. <laughs> no, that is the only the letter S and C. Patrick's is on the right. That's how you but, pronounce it. Uh -huh. Yes, but... Um, S and T uh, before Patrick. Ah, Saint. Saint. Sorry? Saint. 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 Okay. Esto es para Saint, Saint Patrick. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Saint is Patrick it, is on the right. Is it near? Perdón. Is Near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it is right across from Rock, Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And, uh, and where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? It is right behind you. Just turn around and look up. That's correct, excellent. Thank you, girls, very good. Now let's check this one, St. Patrick's, all right? For example, do we have any street? Tenemos alguna calle nosotros aquí en Salvador que tenga el, I don't know, que digamos, Saint, como la calle de Santo Tomás o algo así, no sé. Tenemos aquí en El Salvador alguna calle así. Yo no salgo, ustedes salen. <laughs> Let's see, do we or not? I don't think we have in El Salvador, but they do use. St. Patrick's es un, es una persona, es un símbolo que ellos tienen, right? St. Patrick's. De hecho, creo que todo el mes de noviembre, ellos lo celebran, hacen cosas de color verde, Es una persona para ellos que les proviene mucha suerte, as far as I know, right? Les da mucha suerte y tiene todo lo relacionado con el oro, right? 
Entonces ellos sí nombraron su calle así, St. Patrick's is on the right, right? En este caso, como estamos hablando de la catedral, se refiere a la catedral de San Patricio sería, I think, so, right? Aunque eso no se puede traducir porque es un proper name, right? It's a noun, but it's almost like that, right? Let's see. Let me go with, I think we already finished with all of you. So I want to share with you the video. To understand why do we need this vocabulary, we're going to check the video, okay? Let me stop sharing this, and I'm going to share with you the video. Here we go. Directions and conversation. It's in front for here. But we already have the conversation done, so let me go on with this part. That is what it's I It's on the left. Go up, fifth that. Let's practice these phrases and vocabulary to give directions. How do I get to Rockefeller Center? Walk up Fifth Avenue. Go up Fifth Avenue. Turn left on 49th Street. It's on the right. How can I get to Bryant Park? Walk down Fifth Avenue. Go down Fifth Avenue. Turn right on 42nd Street. It's on the left. So let me summarize the vocabulary we must learn. Four questions. How do I get to? And we mention a place. Or how can I get to? Then we mention a place. Four answers. Walk up. Go up. Walk down. Give me one second. I'm going to stop the video here. I just want to tell you something. These are the most common, if not the only questions that we can do when we ask for directions, all right? How do I get, na, 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 How can I get to, la, 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 all right? How can I get to the hospital? How can I, no, how do I get to the city bank, all right? Those are the most common questions, if not the only questions that we can do or we can ask for, all right? Let's continue with the answers. Go down, turn left on, turn right on, on the right, on the left. Make sure you memorize this vocabulary as it will be essential to ask for and give directions. Now, let's try to analyze the expressions. Walk up or go up. First thing we want to do when given directions is to have a departing point. Where are you located and where do you want to go? Let's say that we are at the Empire State Building and we have a question like the example shows. How do I get to Rockefeller Center? Or how can I get to Rockefeller Center? The first instruction would be walk up Fifth Avenue or go up Fifth Avenue. Now let's pretend that we are at 42nd Street and Madison Avenue. And we want to get to St. Patrick's Cathedral. Okay, let me pause it in here. I'm gonna tell you something. Directions are different from propositions of place. When you are using prepositions of place, you are actually talking about where is located any place, right? But in this case, you are giving the direction, how do they get there? Como llegan hasta ahí, right? Which is different. Decir la localidad de un lugar o a donde está eh, puesto ese lugar, es diferente a decirle, tiene que caminar para arriba y luego va a doblar a la izquierda, all right? It's different. So that's what we're going to learn in here. That's what we are learning. Let's try to pay attention and do not worry. We are going to continue analyzing this information because it's kind of hard, all right? The question would be, how do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Or how can I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? The first instruction would be, walk up Madison Avenue or go up Madison Avenue. Now, let's pretend we are at St. Patrick's Cathedral and we want to get to 
New York Public Library. The question would be, how do I get to New York Public Library? Or, how can I get to New York Public Library? To give directions, it's necessarily for you to be located in a place, right? For example, let's suppose you are located in the center of San Salvador, right? Or San Salvador downtown. And you want to explain somebody how to get to a department store that is located over there. You have to, you have to start by telling, vaya, estamos aquí y de aquí nos vamos a guiar hacia allá, right? That's in Spanish. The same is in English. We are in a starter point. Estamos en un punto inicial, and then it's when you start to locate or to give the direction. No nos olvidemos de eso. Necesitamos tener un punto clave donde estemos, por como menciona él. Supongamos que estamos en St. Patrick's Cathedral, right? And we want to move to the Empire State or to New York. I think it's public library, right? De ahí ya podemos partir para dar las directions. Let's continue. The first instruction would be walk down Fifth Avenue or go down Fifth Avenue. So what is the next step to get to New York Public Library? For that, we will use the vocabulary. Turn right on or turn left on, depending on where our destiny Remember, turn right is, <clears throat> it means gira la derecha. Turn right, turn left is gira la izquierda, right? Aquí, por eso vi necesario ponerles este video porque aquí les van apareciendo qué significan cada uno. Okay, let's continue. So to answer that question, we will say turn right on 42nd Street. So what is the last step after turning right on 42nd Street? For that, we will use the vocabulary on the right or on the left. So in this case, it's on the left. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to give directions using this map. Also try to give directions to your local supermarket, hospital, school, park, etc. Hi, everyone. Okay, let me stop sharing this. <laughs> and here we go again to the back to the PPT. Okay, there you have, this is the vocabulary. In case you need it, you can take a uh, notes from it, right? So far about the vocabulary, do you have any question? Because it's different. Not all the vocabulary means the same. So that's why I need you to be very clear with the vocabulary. Even if you want to say it or knowing it in Spanish, it's okay. Teacher, tal vez para recordatorio lo puede decir en español. Exactly, okay? Está muy bien. Ahorita, solo déjeme tomar agua. <laughs> Vaya. Walk up y go up. Walk up es cuando ustedes tienen que subir. Right? Go up. Suba por aquí. Right? Go up. Go up. Perdón, walk up es cuando ustedes suben. También go up es subir. All right? Esas dos. Ajá, Anita, do you have a question? Vi que levantó la mano. No. <laughs> no, eso. Ajá, walk up y go up es la que tenía yo duda también porque okay. las dos son de subir. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Walk up, go up. ¿Por qué decimos walk up? Si usted está, si usted va a pie, all right, tiene que decir walk up. Si usted va en auto o en bus, go up, right? That's when you need it. Lo mismo si vamos en un ascensor también, go up, right? Then you go walk down. Camine hacia abajo, right? Go down, baje. ¿Ya? Yeah? Right? No tenemos que repetir lo mismo, solo sería baje. Go down es baje. Right? Let's go with the next one. Turn on left. Turn on left. Let's see. ¿Qué es el left para ustedes? Let's see, lady. 
izquierda. Ah, exactly, very good. Entonces, si yo digo turn on left, me refiero, gire a la izquierda. All right, gire. Nos movemos, giramos. That's turn on left. Y así yo digo, turn on right, es a la derecha. Gire hacia la derecha, all right. Turn right on, ya es gire hacia la derecha. Then, on the right. ¿Se han fijado que ustedes que nosotros decimos a mano derecha o a mano izquierda va a encontrar tal cosa? All right? ¿Ya se han fijado eso? A veces así damos las directions. En este caso podríamos aplicarla así. On the right. Del lado derecho va a encontrar tal cosa, right? On the left, del lado izquierdo, va a encontrar el hospital. Right? Eso es lo único que varía, que en estas tenemos que cruzar. En turn, siempre que vean la palabra turn, significa cruzar. Y ya si le dicen on, on the right or on the left, se refiere, déjenme ver, me voy a apoyar aquí de este mapita que tenemos por aquí. Yo puedo decir, it's on the left uh, of Second Avenue. O también puedo decir, it's on the right of Second Avenue. Right? Is it clear? ¿Cómo vamos? ¿Está un poquito más claro o we're still not so clear? Teacher, uh, repeat, please, uh, walk down. Walk down. Camine hacia abajo. Walk down. Camine hacia abajo. All right? Y ya go down es solamente baje. Right? Sé que ahí ven dos palabras, pero eso el significado es solo baje. Right? Go down. Usualmente ese go down en go up lo utilizamos cuando no estamos ejerciendo la acción de caminar, right? sino que vamos en un autobús, o we go in a truck, or a car, anything else. Another question about vocabulary? Then again, just let me remind you this. Solo déjenme recordarles esto. Estas son las dos questions. These are the only two questions that we can use when we ask for directions, right? How do I get to the hospital? How can I get to the city bank, right? Let's go. Let's move on with this part. We have this. How do I get to Rockefeller Center? Let me see where is the Rockefeller. It's over here, right? It's number four. Walk up or go up, depending on how you're doing. All right, go up or go up Fifth Avenue. Let me see where is the Fifth Avenue. It's over here, all right? Hmm, pero el Rockefeller Center no está en la Fifth Avenue. Ah, there you go. Turn on left, turn left on 49th Street. De aquí, creo que esta sería la 49th, de acuerdo al video, right? It's on the right. And it's over here. That's what it's telling, right? De acuerdo al video, así lo presentaron. Right. How can I get through Bryant Park? Walk down, camine hacia abajo, or go down, or va. Fifth Avenue is this one. Turn right on 42, no, 42nd Street. Esta sería la 42nd, déjenme ver. Yeah, this is the 42nd. Todo esto que ven aquí, déjenme, voy a poner el puntero. Over here. Fifth Avenue, go down, and you're going to turn on right on 42nd Street. It's on the left. Y ya le dice, está a mano derecha. Right, left. Check. No, está mano izquierda. Turn on the left. 
Bryant Park. Right? Now, listen, you have to complete this by today. So, if by any chances you have a question, porque creo que hasta mañana tienen para completar el midterm exam, right? Todo, completamente la section three. Si ustedes tienen alguna duda o consulta, me pueden escribir, right? No lo duden. ¿Por qué? Porque este tema casi no lo hemos practicado, pues lo hemos visto hasta ahora. Y también porque it could be a little bit difficult, right? Entonces, a ustedes les van a pedir que escriban ahí sus sentences. Si ustedes me dicen, mis, todavía eso no lo manejo muy bien, ayuda. Con todo gusto me escriben y yo les ayudo a hacer su oración. All right. All right, everybody. That was pretty much it for today's class. Tomorrow we're going to see the midterm exam. So stay tuned. All right. I'll see you tomorrow, girls. Bye. Bye, teacher. Thank you. Bye. Bye, teacher. teacher. Bye. Bye. Bye, miss.